The state ABC commission put a temporary ban on Russian produced products today. It comes the same day Governor Roy Cooper leveled sanctions against Russia. Soon you'll see some empty shelves at the ABC liquor store. Anything that we can do to support uh, what's going on, uh, we're happy to do that. The North Carolina ABC Commission suspended Russian based alcohol products across the state. Elon University economics professor Vitaly Strahush, who's from Ukraine, says Russian vodka only accounts for a small portion of vodka in the U.S., but it's still an important step. Uh, I'm grateful, you know, like any support counts. In a statement today, Governor Cooper wrote that any way to ensure that public dollars do not benefit Russia will show the state's support for Ukraine. When you look at what's what's going on and, and just how our country has been supporting um, uh, Ukraine at this time, it really it's, it makes sense just to pull those products um, and not be selling those products to, to be supportive of what's going on. On top of that, Cooper ordered state agencies to review contracts and end agreements with any Russian entities. The governor was also briefed on cybersecurity, a growing problem since the conflict in Ukraine started. You are a target, and by you, I'm saying that to anyone who hears this. Cybersecurity expert Joseph Steinberg warns that online threats aren't going away anytime soon. This conflict with Ukraine and Russia will end, but the cyber problems will not. He says small precautions like avoiding suspicious links and backing up your devices can make a world of difference. Practice good cyber hygiene the same way you practice hygiene for your you know, physical health, do it for your cyber health. Even if we are a stronger cyber power than Russia, and we are by far, when it comes to defending, we need to defend 100% of the attacks. In Greensboro, Amber Lake, WFMY News 2.